after um, the atrocities, and you know, I've seen the video footage, you know, from the go cam cameras of the the Hamas terrorists, from the first responders, the closed circuit, you know, captions. That you, when you see this, you you just can't even imagine that a human being could do this. And this really, this this awoke, this 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 shook the world. Anyone with any decency, it shook, and they understood. Uh, if Israel falls next to Sunni Islam, because the real target is the, the Saudi Arabian oil fields, the real target is Mecca and Medina, the holy sites of Islam. And then ultimately, it's, to, to quote the, the supreme Ayatollah, their ultimate goal is the great Satan. It's it's not just America, it's, it's Christian Europe, it's Western civilization. And what stands in their way is Israel. These soldiers of the IDF, tiny little Israel is what stands in their way. Otherwise, they'd have the Shia Islamic hegemonic caliphate from the Arabian Gulf to the Mediterranean. And we understood this is, this is not a little squabble. This is ultimately going to shape the 21st century. And there were people that I would say, Jews and Christians who just, you know, that the focus wasn't Israel. That's not what the focus of their life was. In, in, in the barbarity of this, the, the sickness and the, the way that these guys called home their mothers, you know, bragging about how many women they've raped and beheaded and their mothers are so proud of them that the, the, you know i can't even say those words but 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 you listen to those calls the recordings of them you watch the videos and you understand if, if we don't respond to this you know the fate of the 21st century is at stake the fate of humanity is at stake because they're not stopping with israel israel is what's standing in their way and um there was such a I would say a sincere mobilization, just decent Christians and Jews across America. You don't see that on the news because that's not what the news focuses on. You don't see that in academia. You know, I'll use a term that, that Vladimir Lenin always used to use when they overthrew the Tsar, when they overthrew the Romanovs, they called these people the useful idiots. The liberal press and academia, the students, the people out there on the streets protesting, they're the useful idiots that that world is using, you know. And but I think you're decent American, you're your Christian or your Jewish American who has a thoughtful relationship with God, has a thoughtful relationship with themselves. They understand what's at stake. Is it going to be a century of, of justice, of morality, of ethics? Is it going to be a, is it going to be a century of human decency? Or is it going to be a century where, where facts, where truth doesn't matter, where barbarism, where oppression, where, where, where just basic human rights don't matter?